You know, you're an Israelite according to the scripture. Who, who is your father? What's your nationality? Okay, uh, what about your father? Like, what? Through your father's line, huh? Black and white? What about his father? Like a so called black man, right? I would you would be more than likely from the tribe of Judah, right? We are here to teach our people the truth according to the Bible. Like you said, you're a seventh day of seventh day of Venice, right? Uh, where can I find that in the scriptures? To be right, because the Lord He told to give me Deuteronomy four and forty four, right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. No, we we're not the Gentiles. We are the Israelites according to the scriptures. We are the real Jews that the Bible speaks of. Right, and, and God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments, right? Get that. So we, we showing you right now who uh, God gave the, mo uh, the law to, right? <laughs> this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 44. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. So the law was given to the children of Israel, right? That's who the Lord is really dealing with. He didn't get a law to everybody, right? He gave a law to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? The children of Israel. Get uh, Galatians 4 and 5. It's uh, Galatians chapter 4 and verse 5, right? To redeem them that were under the law. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son. Right, he sent forth his son, right? We know that's Christ, right? Read. Made of a woman. Made of a woman. Read. Made under the law. Made. Christ was made under the law. Because the law was given to the Israelites. Christ was also an Israelite. Read. Verse. Verse 5, right? To redeem, to redeem them that were under the law. That's who Christ coming to redeem, those that are under the law. The law was given to the Israelites. That's why I was, I was asking you, like, uh, what's your nationality? That is going to be important when Christ comes back, right? Because he, he coming back for his people. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 68, right? Christ is coming back for his people, right? And it says that even in the New Testament, right? Get that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21, right? And he and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, right? It's talking about Jesus now, read. For he shall, shall save his people. From their sins. Right, so Christ is coming back to save his people from their sins. That's why we're trying to tell our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who they are according to the scriptures, because Christ is coming back for you, right? But it's something that we're supposed to be doing when he's coming back, right? Get that in 1 and 68. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Huh? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So the Most High is the Lord God of Israel, right? Because he only gave the law, statutes, and judgments to Israel, read. Right? For, for he had visited and redeemed his people, right? Turn that, turn that on. So he, he visited and redeemed his people, right? His people are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true chosen people of God, right? The Israelites. Get uh, Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Uh, keep reading. All the way to 72. Verse 69. Right. And he has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Right. Verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which has been since the world began. Right. Read. Verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right. So that's what Christ is coming back to do. He coming us to save us from our enemies and all that hate us. Right? The so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, we're the ones who fill in the, uh, the projects, right? We're the ones who's filling the prison systems, right? Christ is coming to save us from all of that, from our enemies. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. All right, so we can't go off of other people's feelings, how we feel about things. We have to go off, thus saith the Lord, right? Right out the scriptures, right? Read. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. So they raised up Jesus, right? And they slew him on a tree, right? They they slew our father on a tree, right? 
Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Right. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So that's who we came to give repentance to, to Israel. That's why we out here telling our people to wake up to who they are and come back and keep the commandments of God. Right? Because he came to give repentance to Israel. And all throughout the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, you'll see that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Right. So that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to lean on the Lord with all our heart, right? And lean not into our own understanding, not how we feel about it, right? All these different religions out here, they're false religions, right? Like Christianity, right? Uh, being a Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, a Muslim, all those are false religions. There's only one God and he created one na uh, 18 different nations. And he chose one and he gave, he said, this nation, I'm gonna give you my law. We read that in Deuteronomy chapter four and verse 44, right? That's who the Lord is dealing with. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Talking about the, uh, the Israelites, right? He said we are holy people. The word holy means separate, read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Because you are special to the Lord, right? He made all these different nations, but he chose that one. Because just like you have, you might have uh, a few pair of shoes at home, or you might have a different, like maybe 10 or 15 different shirts at home, but you got that one favorite out of all your shirts. That's how the Lord is, read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said the Israelites are above all people on the face of the earth, right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the mo that's the context of Deuteronomy chapter one, right? He's, he's talking to the Israelites, right? Get that in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse, uh, yeah, start at 15, right? So the reason why we in this condition today, we broke the commandments, right? And then we, we trying to come out of this uh, position. So we out here to tell our people to keep the commandments so the Most High can come fight for us. Get that in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is what happened to us. This is why we are in the position we in today. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Right. But it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we didn't listen to the commandments, right? If we didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe to do all his commandments read. and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the curses will come upon us and overtake us, right? All the curses will come upon us and overtake us. We're gonna get some of these curses in the scriptures, right? We're gonna see who these curses fit. Get, uh, they should be upon you for a sign. Right, get. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this sign would be upon us for a wonder and a seat and our, on our seat forever, right? If you if you want to get to McDonald's, you're going to look for that golden arch, right? You're going to look for that sign in the air. If you want to go to Wells Fargo, you're going to look for that sign before you get there. Just like the sign of the curses would be upon the Israelites on who they are, right? It's going to describe what, what it is. Get uh, 64. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which thou neither your father nor thy father have known even wood and stone. So we got scattered all over the earth, right? We got scattered all over the earth through the transatlantic slave trade, through the sub-Saharan slave trade, right? We are the, we are the people who fit in these curses, right? Because nobody else got scattered all throughout the earth as a nation. Yes. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord would bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Do you know what they were doing uh, the first time in Egypt? They were in slavery, right? When Moses came and got the people, he said, let my people go, right? They were in slavery. But he said, I will send thee into Egypt again, right? This is the book of Exodus chapter two. Chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the word Egypt means bondage. Another word for bondage is slavery, right? Let's, let's go back to that. 
Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord said he would bring you into slavery again with ships, right? What nation of people went into slavery on slave ships? Right, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We would, we the only people who did that as a nation of people. Right, read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So just like the Lord said, it's gonna happen. It, will, it happened just like that, read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. So when we got off those ships, we were sold to our enemy, right? For bond men and bond women.